There's a question that echoes in the private corners of the internet, in late night search histories, and in quiet conversations. It's a question surrounded by myths, anxiety, and a ton of misinformation. What really happens to your body, specifically your prostate, if you masturbate every single day? The whispers you've heard online might suggest it's dangerous, that it can cause damage, inflammation, or worse. The fear-mongering is real. But what does the actual science say? Well, I'm going to tell you the truth today. And I promise you, the answer is genuinely shocking, and it is almost certainly not what you have been led to believe. Stick with me, because you won't want to miss this. To truly understand the shocking reality, we first need to get acquainted with the key player here, the prostate gland itself. So, what is it? Put simply, the prostate is a small, walnut-sized gland that's part of the male reproductive system. Its main job is to produce the fluid that nourishes and transports sperm, what we know as semen. It sits just below the bladder and in front of the rectum. For such a small gland, it plays a massive role in a man's health, especially as he gets older. And because it's so important, it's also the source of a lot of anxiety. You've probably heard the claims, the myths that circulate in locker rooms and on internet forums. That frequent masturbation can wear out the prostate. That it can lead to chronic inflammation, a condition known as prostatitis. Or, the one thing men fear most, that it could somehow increase your risk of prostate cancer. These fears are understandable. Prostate cancer is one of the most common cancers among men, so anything that might affect that risk is taken very seriously. For decades, these fears went largely unchallenged, chalked up to old wives' tales or moral warnings disguised as health advice. But then, researchers at one of the most prestigious universities in the world decided to stop guessing. They decided to put the myths to the test with a massive, long-term scientific study. And what they found didn't just challenge the myths, it blew them out of the water completely. It changed the entire conversation about masturbation and prostate health forever. So, what is the shocking secret? What did the science finally reveal? The landmark study I'm talking about comes from a place you've definitely heard of, Harvard University. Specifically, the Harvard T.H. Tone School of Public Health. And this wasn't some small-time survey. They followed nearly 32,000 men for almost two decades, meticulously tracking their lifestyles and health outcomes. One of the key data points they looked at was ejaculation frequency. When they analyzed the data, the results were stunning. They were the very definition of you won't believe it. Here it is. The study found that men who reported a higher frequency of ejaculation had a significantly lower risk of developing prostate cancer. Let me say that again, because it bears repeating. More frequent ejaculation was linked to a lower risk of prostate cancer. The numbers were specific and significant. Men who ejaculated 21 or more times per month had up to a 33% lower risk of getting prostate cancer compared to men who ejaculated only four to seven times per month. This finding is the complete opposite of the old fears. Far from being harmful, the evidence pointed to a powerful protective effect. This wasn't a fluke. The results have been supported by other research, including a major Australian study that found a similar protective link. So, the big question is, why? How could something so simple have such a profound impact on the health of the prostate gland? Scientists have a few leading theories, and they all make a lot of sense. The first and most popular one is often called the prostate stagnation hypothesis. Think of your prostate's ducts as tiny pipes. The theory suggests that regular ejaculation helps to flush out these pipes. This process clears away old cells, built up secretions, and potentially harmful substances or carcinogens before they have a chance to linger, cause inflammation, and potentially trigger the cellular changes that lead to cancer. It's essentially a natural cleansing mechanism. The second theory revolves around cellular health. Every time a cell divides, there's a tiny chance of a genetic error, a mutation, that could lead to cancer. The hypothesis here is that frequent ejaculation promotes a healthier cycle of cellular turnover. It encourages the prostate to replace old, potentially damaged cells with new, healthy ones more efficiently, reducing the opportunity for cancerous cells to take hold and multiply. And a third idea connects to stress and inflammation. 
we know that chronic inflammation is a major risk factor for many types of cancer. The act of ejaculation is linked to a reduction in tension and psychological stress. By lowering stress levels, you might also be lowering the body's overall inflammatory response, which would naturally contribute to a healthier internal environment for the prostate. So, when you put it all together, the science paints a clear picture. Regular ejaculation, whether from sex with a partner or from masturbation, appears to play a significant role in maintaining a healthy prostate by cleaning out the system, promoting healthy cell turnover, and potentially reducing inflammation. It's a powerful combination. So, that science is incredible for understanding long-term health and cancer risk. But I know for many of you watching, the concern isn't just about the future. It's about the frustrating symptoms you're dealing with right now. I'm talking about waking up multiple times a night, that constant, annoying feeling that you can't fully empty your bladder, or a weak stream that's just plain frustrating. If that sounds familiar, I want to pause for just a moment and share something special. There's a fascinating video presentation that reveals a powerful spring water juice based on an unusual Asian remedy that targets the root cause of these very symptoms, what they describe as a hidden prostate clog. It's designed to provide fast relief for those exact issues. Point your phone's camera at the QR code you see on the screen right now to watch it. It will open right on your phone. I've also put the direct link as the top pinned comment below this video. Go ahead, open it in a new tab, and then come right back because we still need to cover the bigger picture of prostate health. All right, so for the rest of the bigger picture of prostate health, you might be thinking, this is incredible. Is frequent ejaculation a magic bullet? A guaranteed way to prevent prostate cancer. And this is where we need to be responsible and look at the bigger picture. The answer is not exactly. It's crucial to understand that this research shows a very strong correlation, not necessarily a direct, one-to-one -one causation. What does that mean? It means that while the link is powerful, there could be other factors involved. For example, it's possible that men who have a higher ejaculation frequency also tend to have other healthier lifestyle habits, and that combination is what leads to the reduced risk. The key takeaway is that ejaculation frequency is likely one important piece of a much larger puzzle when it comes to prostate health. It is not a license to ignore everything else. Think of it as one powerful tool in your toolbox. But you need other tools too. What are they? First, diet is critical. Diets rich in fruits, vegetables, and healthy fats are linked to better prostate health. Foods containing lycopene, like tomatoes, watermelon, and grapefruit, are particularly beneficial. Green tea and foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids, like fish, are also great additions. Second, exercise. Regular physical activity helps you maintain a healthy weight, which is hugely important. Obesity is a known risk factor for more aggressive forms of prostate cancer. Even 30 minutes of moderate exercise most days of the week can make a huge difference. Third, avoid smoking and limit alcohol consumption. Both are linked to an increased risk of various cancers and can negatively impact your overall health. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, be proactive. Nothing, not diet, not exercise, not ejaculation frequency, replaces the need for regular medical checkups, especially for men over the age of 40 or 50, or for those with a family history of prostate cancer. Talking to your doctor about screening options like the PSA blood test is the single most effective way to catch any potential problems early when they are most treatable. So, let's circle all the way back to our original, shocking question, what does daily masturbation do to your prostate? The unbelievable truth, backed by top-tier science, is that, far from being the harmful act that myth and fear have made it out to be, it might actually be one of the simplest. Most natural things you can do to contribute to a healthier prostate over the long term. It's not a cure-all. It's not a replacement for a healthy lifestyle and regular doctor visits. But the evidence is compelling. A healthy sex life which includes masturbation, is a partner, not an enemy, in the fight for long-term prostate health. If you found this video valuable and want more health myths busted with real science, do us a huge favor and hit that like button. It really helps the channel. Make sure you're subscribed and you've clicked the notification bell so you don't miss our next video.
And now I want to hear from you. What other men's health myths have you heard that you want us to investigate next? Drop them in the comments below. Stay healthy, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next video.